Do you like this black and white stroke light text effect? It is super cool to be in your video opening. In this video, we will teach you how to make strobe light text effect in Filmora. Impress viewers by using this cinematic title in your videos. Hey everyone, welcome to Filmora MVP YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell icon to get updates. Before we start editing, click the download link in the description box. Click on the free download option. Now a Filmora installer is downloaded automatically. Just double click on it, agree with the terms, and here you go. Filmora started to download and install. Once it's installed, it'll start and run automatically. To create this cinematic title, go to the titles and click on it. From here, drag and drop the default title to the timeline. Double click on the title and edit the title. Write whatever you want. Choose a nice font for the title. Here I choose the Motor Oil 1937 M54 font. Drag it up onto the timeline. Go to Media. Click on Sample Color. Pick Black Color Picture into the track below the title. Now take a snapshot of this title. Double click on the title and edit it again. Write something you want under the title. Change the font of this title as you like. I will shorten this title later and adjust it below the first title. Take a snapshot of this title now. Delete both picture and snapshot from the timeline. Sometimes you may have noticed that when you take snapshots, they are not present in your media. So click on Media for that and find the Wondershare Filmora folder on your computer and open it. Inside this folder, you will find the snapshot folder. Double click on it. You can see that we have both snapshots in this folder. Select both snapshots and click Open. So this way, you will import both the pictures and the media. Click the Import Media button again. Download these files now. These include background video, lens flare, particles, and a sound effect. The free download link of these files is available in the description. Now you can import all those files into the software. First, drag the background video into the track below the timeline. Now drag and drop the first snapshot title into the track above it. Adjust the duration of the snapshot according to the background video below. Do the same to the second snapshot. Hide the snapshot picture above. Click on the snapshot picture of the track below. Click on the green screen tool. Select the white color inside the basic colors here. When you select white color, the white title inside your snapshot will be removed. Next, inside the chroma key, we have to adjust the edge thickness. I extend it. Check out how it looks on the screen. Then unhide the track above. Select the picture of the track above. Unfold the compositing tab. Open the blending mode. Select screen option. So we remove the background of this title. Hide the picture of the track above again. Drag the sound effect from the media into the audio track. Delete the extra part of the sound effect. Next, double click the snapshot picture of the track below, go to the animation tab, and then click customize section. Add a keyframe to the start of this snapshot here. Increase the scale in this keyframe as much as possible. Increase the level of the scale to 400. Rotate 45 degrees in the same keyframe. Move the playhead forward one second. Here we have to add another keyframe. Reset both rotate and scale in this keyframe. OK. After doing this, drag and drop the lens flare video into the track above the timeline. Split and delete the extra part of the lens flare video according to the tracks below. 
Also, drag and drop particles video to the timeline. Delete the extra part. Double click on the particle video. Open the blending mode box inside the compositing tab. Select the screen option. Do the same to lens flare video. Okay. Show the third track of the second title. Now, the last thing we have to do is to adjust the second title. Move the playhead three seconds ahead of the start, where the lens flare begins to appear below the title, and click on the snapshot of the second title. Split the snapshot in the same place, and delete the first part of the snapshot. Double click on this part of the snapshot title. Add a keyframe to the start of this part of the snapshot title. Adjust the position and scale of the title in this keyframe. Reduce the size of the title, place the title above the lens flare. When adjusting the scale and position in this way, then zero the level of opacity in the same keyframe. Move the playhead about two more seconds forward, where the lens flare ends. Now add another keyframe here. Just reset the opacity in this keyframe. That is, make the opacity 100. So with that, we made this kind of cinematic title. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, then give this video a thumbs up, plus subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon. But don't leave without sharing this video and leave your comment below. Bye!